Hello everyone, this is Anton and welcome to What The Math. In this video, we're going to go on a little trip using Space Engine and fly through several nebula, both in Space Engine and in real life by looking at these amazing NASA photos that I found on the internet. Now, the thing about this video is that it's going to be in three parts due to the length constraints and the first part is going to be about five specific nebula and then in the second part we'll visit a few more. And lastly, in the third part, we're going to visit all of them again, but this time completely in 3D using YouTube 360 technology. Alright, so let's start by leaving our planet Earth and go to our first destination known as the Carina Nebula. And Carina Nebula is actually one of the brightest and one of the largest nebula that we have in the night sky. And this is where the strong winds and really powerful radiation from these massive stars are essentially creating a huge and large cloud of dust and gas from which uh, many stars will actually be born. It is located approximately 7500 light years away from us uh, in the constellation Carina. And in terms of size it's approximately 100 light years across and it is about 4 times larger than the famous Orion Nebula. And like so many other nebula, Carina Nebula is essentially a very large star forming region with a lot of interesting dark lanes of really cool dust that splits up the other parts of nebula that are really really hot and glowing pretty bright. And all this creates this incredible three dimensional cloud of dust that's essentially super super large in size as well. And unfortunately in Space Engine it obviously doesn't look as dramatic and as incredible as it does in real life when produced by NASA, but nevertheless this is actually what it would look like if you were to visit and fly around it in three dimensions. Alright, let's go to our next destination, the Flame Nebula. And this actually is one of the first images to be released publicly from a telescope known as VISTA. And this is the world's largest survey telescope. And here we are looking at the region known as NGC 2024, also known as the Flame Nebula. And this is actually in the constellation of Orion. And the thing about this particular image is that it actually combines several different light um, frequencies, including infrared. So in Space Engine, obviously, once again, it doesn't look as dramatic. Uh, but what we see in Space Engine is the visual light, which is quite similar to what you would see if you were to look at Flame Nebula in a telescope. But if you were to look at it in a telescope in infrared and also ultraviolet and all of the other spectra, you would see something that would look similar to the, uh, to the Vista picture. And in this particular image, you also see a bit of a horse head nebula uh, towards the lower left. And uh, there's actually one of the bright stars forming the belt of Orion here as well. And it's the bright bluish star toward the right uh, side of the image. And so let's fly through this in Space Engine and see what it looks like as well. Next, number three, it's this incredible Helix Nebula that looks a lot like a nice staring at you. Now, this is actually a color composite image that combines several different colors again. And here, the blue-green glow in the center is from the oxygen atoms shining under the effects of intense ultraviolet radiation that is essentially formed by the uh, central star right in the middle. And the rings around it, the red color rings, are from the hydrogen and nitrogen that uh, is essentially on the outskirts of this nebula. And what's interesting is if you look at the actual image, you'll see that there's actually uh, galaxies that you can see through this eye. And these are remote galaxies far away from our galaxy, but you can see them through this interesting image that is essentially an eye staring at you. And this is what uh, this would look like in Space Engine. Next on the list is this absolutely gorgeous and incredible horse head nebula. Now, if you look really closely, you may actually see where the horse head is, and you may even kind of detect some other features of a horse. 
And this particular nebula is located in a very large area known as Orion Molecular Cloud Complex, about which I've previously talked as well. The distance to this particular nebula is about 1400 light years, and so it's actually relatively far, but uh, if you have a powerful telescope, you can easily see it. But unlike the photo that you see in front of you, the Space Engine version is a lot less beautiful. Nevertheless, you can kind of see some of the shapes that you saw in the picture if you look really closely, but this is what it looks like in Space Engine. Next uh, is the infamous Crab Nebula. This is a very beautiful nebula that you may have seen previously. And the photo shows a three color composite picture that was taken by three different telescopes and then combined into one. Now this is actually a remnant of a very large supernova explosion at a distance of about um, 6,000 light years from us. And it was actually observed uh, in the year 1054, almost a thousand years ago. And inside of it, you can actually find a neutron star near its center, which is probably the remainder of the original star that went supernova. And here, the green light is actually produced by hydrogen uh, ejected by the star when it exploded. And the blue light is emitted by very, very high energy electrons that uh, spiral around this large magnetic field produced by uh, the star and the nebula itself. And we can actually visit this in Space Engine and it actually does look very, very similar. Okay, and now that we've actually visited these five absolutely amazing, gorgeous nebula, we're going to continue this in the next part where we're going to visit six more absolutely incredible and gorgeous locations in space in our galaxy. And anyway, thank you so much for watching everyone. I appreciate all of your support and all of your awesome comments. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to share this and possibly even like this video and maybe even send it to your friends. If you still haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe because there's more videos coming soon. I'll see you in the next part where we're going to explore a little bit more. Game you later. Bye-bye.